Well, good morning. Finishing my third cup of coffee here. Yep, it's been one of those days. Got the ram over there warming up. About to head into town. Picked up a trailer. And a nice gooseneck trailer. It's actually the same brand as the trailer I had with the JCB uh, rental. But this one has a gooseneck hitch instead of the bumper pull. So picked that up yesterday afternoon after uh, struggling with the little trailer that Mr. Bill ha has here on the property. So just sitting here on my bench, enjoying the fresh air, getting ready to hit the day. I'm sure I've come to like that little bench. It is nice. So we do have the trailer park back here in the shed. Uh, this thing just does not hold very much lumber or very much timber. So I made many, many, tr many trips yesterday cutting up wood and loading it on here. It got quite a bit done. Go ahead and close that up. I got a good, good spot started there where the house is. But we have much more to do. So yesterday, when I picked up the trailer, I got a lead on a piece of equipment. And as I mentioned before, the shop here does not get a whole lot in. Uh, way back out here in the wilderness, it's tough to get equipment back here, so they either have to order it, and it takes some time to come in, or you get lucky and find something used. I'm gonna run down here, I'm gonna show you what we have done so far here at the home site. So I did manage to get a lot of logs picked up. Up here on top of the hill where the house will go, you see a lot of the logs have been picked up. I also used a little gator to push some of the logs around too. Uh, it's not very strong and it got hung up here on the stumps. So it's actually quite clear. But there are still the stumps here. What I'm going to do is go down to town I uh, need to get the truck worked on. Uh, it's in need of some service. So I'm going to swing by the garage down there and let them get that the service completed on the truck. And get that taken care of. And then we're going to head down to one of the sawmills. See about checking out a piece of equipment. I'm going to go ahead and take the trailer down just in case we decide to pick it up. It is uh, supposedly an old forestry tractor that they have. It has a winch on it that they use up in the hills to pull logs around. So I figured that might actually be pretty useful. We'll be able to drag the timber around and get it out of the way and hopefully in a centralized location. Supposedly, this tractor has a three-point hitch on it. So I figured that would uh, come in handy. Then we could get the grinder that goes on a three-point hitch and take out some of those stumps. So we're going to pull in here in the garage, get a quick service done, and then we're going to head on down. What I'm going to do is pull in here at the cell point location here. We're going to swing around. I'm actually going to drop the trailer off in here. We'll just leave it there out of the way. And then pick it up on our way out. All right, let me go get these guys going on the truck. All done. Got a fresh oil change. Tune up. Good to go. So we'll pull back over here and grab the trailer. Head on down to the sawmill. Check out the tractor. Alright, the trailer's hooked up and we are ready to head on down to the sawmill.
right, I'm not sure where they have this tractor parked. That actually may be it back there. Let's just swing by and take a look and see if that could in fact be what we're here for. It may be. Now I'm going to pull around over here, run in, and talk to somebody about it. the office is around over here somewhere thought here we go well we made the deal loaded her up and got on back down here to the land try to find a place I could swing around here and get this truck trailer out of the way I need to come up with a good area to stage these logs. I'll tell you, this tractor is probably not the most ideal piece of equipment. I would love to have had some type of loader, but it's all we can find. And I am running out of time with uh, trying to cut logs by hand, load them by hand and hauling off small amounts so we're going to try and see if we can't get some more work done a little bit quicker tomorrow the construction crew will be coming down to start on the foundation so we need to really focus on this area I really think that the area here where the house is is pretty good I'm gonna right drive up here and check there's there's a few stray logs around yeah so it is pretty good some of those logs there we could move out and matter of fact I believe this thing we could lower down and actually just push the logs with if need be but let's go ahead and hook up some of these logs and try and drag them out of the way See if I can get the chain around this little one as well. I'm not sure if it's going to work out. There we go. Use the remote here and drag those up to the tractor. Alright. That's working out. question is, how many can we drag at once? Because I wonder if I can get these connected up as well. enough chain and chokers will the tractor pull it let's see it actually appears that it is so I can see why they were using this uh, tractor up in the hills it's low to the ground and has quite a bit of torque well, that is impressive but I don't know what to do here I want to just drag them this way, I believe. I'll just 
just drag them on down here to where the rest of these are. Actually, this is the going to be the driveway here, so we'll drag them down here. It's struggling just a little bit. Hit something. Oh, got caught up on the logs. There we go. Very good. So now I think what I can do is back into the pile there, lower down this winch. Just tidy them up, get them all compacted up there together. There we go. Works out very well. So I'm going to continue up here around the home site, dragging these trees off the hill. We'll get them cleared out so that we can get a stump grinder. I've already contacted the store that actually did have a stump grinder in stock. So they have it set aside for me. We'll run down and grab that here in just a little while after I get all of these trunks cleared out. And then start on some stump grinding. Well, I have the uh, shop load up a three-point grinder here you see on the trailer. Made a lot of progress here pulling the logs down. So I figured it was time to go ahead and start getting some of these stumps out of here. They are just everywhere and the logs actually, although they're pulling down pretty good, I'm having to weave in and out of the stumps. It's just making it more difficult than it needs to be. I'm actually going to just pull it right here. We'll get shut down. Disconnect the straps. We'll hop in the tractor. And get connected up to the to the stump grinder. And here's our first stump here. We'll just go ahead and get this one out of the way. Now this articulation does cause a little bit of concern here. It's going to be kind of difficult keeping this thing where I need it to be. There we go. See, that's everything. And I'm wondering if I have enough clearance over the stumps here to just pull over them. Maybe some of them. I don't know if I'm going to have enough clearance or not. Oh, I actually think I do. Oh, maybe not. What am I stuck on here? Oh no, the PTO shaft. Alright, so that's a bad idea. If 
That didn't take much. Got the deer roaming around here. A lot of wildlife in this area. making short work of these stumps. It is not going to take too long to get through this activity. I tried to keep some of the stumps cut high enough off the ground that I could see where they were. Some of them got a little bit low. There we go. Well, this is working out really well. Not taking uh, much time at all to get these ground out. We have the rest of this around here. You see I've got all of the trees pulled off this area where the house will be. Now there are still trees down the hill there. That's okay because they won't be doing any work there. Or at least I don't think they will be. My understanding is they'll only be here uh, where the house will be. So that's what I'm focused on getting cleared out here today and I still need to do something with that driveway there's no way in the world they're going to be able to get those trucks in and out with that driveway like it is so that is definitely something that I need to focus on as well alright well let's uh, take a little time here to get these stumps ground out check back in Alright, well I've got all of these stumps that I could get to ground out. So we're going to go ahead and drop this machine off here. And then hook back up to the winch. Because there's a few more trees that I need to pull out of the way. And what I ended up doing is cutting a few trees back up toward the campsite. It was just uh, too many overhanging branches. So I went ahead and cleared out a nice little path. That way Mr. Bill can get back here to the shed easily. I've got these trees cut down, but I do need to drag them out of here. But first, I think I need to de-limb them. Never took the limbs off. Get turned around here and go ahead and get this first tree hooked up. Pull out my chainsaw real quick and knock these limbs off. All right, there we go. I'll go ahead and get this one connected to the winch. All right, one more tree here. We'll get connected. And let's see if it'll pull them out. I don't know. This can be tough. Oh, it is struggling. Uh-oh, we're stuck. What are we stuck on? It's that tree there. That big tree. Let's see if we can push these back a little bit. Oh, it is wedged in there. 
Yep, we're not getting that out. But we can get the other three. We'll disconnect this one here. And just pull those down. We'll come back and get the other one from a different angle. So we got quite a bit done today. We got this tractor bought and brought over. We got this winch that is actually helping out really, really more than I thought. Uh, getting these logs brought down here to a clearing. We got the stump grinder, which made short work of the stumps. So now, I really only need to focus on getting that driveway leveled out so i need to see what i can do about that guys i hope you enjoyed the episode if you did please be sure to give me a like go ahead and subscribe to the channel i thank you all for watching and i hope you have a blessed day